Hi, guys. All right, let's get our idioms going. We're going to do three of them today. So grab that writing notebook, go to your idioms a day. We've got copycat, which we've already done. We already did piece of cake. We did give it a shot. Remember, that was trying to do something. Those crocodile tears, pretending to be upset, you can use that saying. Then we did snowball effect where things are building and building and building and building upon each other until it explodes. Pig out, one of my favorites. Pig out on your favorite food. And then we ended with wild goose chase, doing something pointless. So just having no point to doing your activity. All right, the one for today, so we should be at 21, is bull in a china shop. So first of all, we're not putting a bull in a china shop, even though that's what it says. Bull in a china shop means someone who's very clumsy. They might break things easily or fall down or get hurt or cause issues. So if you kind of imagine if I were going to put a bull in a china, so china is very delicate, um, silver like plates and cups. If I was going to put a bull in a store full of delicate things, it'd be disastrous. And that's what this idiom is. Someone who is very clumsy. So if you know someone like this, you could say to them, you're like a bull in a china shop. Or someone might have said it to you. Our next one today is on thin ice. On thin ice. It is not meaning you are skating on thin ice or there is thin ice. Thin ice means if you make another mistake, there will be trouble. So your mom or dad might have used this saying before. If you have been just nagging or getting in trouble and they might say you were on thin ice, buddy, meaning you got one more chance before you're going to get yourself in big trouble. So on thin ice is like pushing those limits right before you get in trouble. One more mistake. At school, if you've gotten lots and lots of warnings, you might also be on thin ice. So one more mistake and you might have some sort of trouble or punishment. And our third one today is pass with flying colors. I hope you all pass third grade with flying colors. And that means to succeed at something easily. So if you pass with flying colors, you get through it easily. Depending on what you're doing, some of you have passed things with flying colors before. All right, I will see you guys later. Have a good day.